Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slimhacks and today I'm going to show you how to specifically block devices from your home's network. So um, recently I uploaded, a, well not recently, but like a while ago I uploaded a video on how to block uh, specific devices from your home network, but that was using a uh, Linksys router. Uh, I recently bought a new uh, router, a Netgear router, and the settings are quite different, so I'm going to show you how to navigate around that. So, like uh, like the old video says, you want to go to your browser, and you want to type in your do your default your router's default IP address, which is usually 192.168.1.1, and we're gonna be entering our our credentials, which is the user. I have it on default uh, factory settings, so it's gonna be my username is admin and my password is password. I'm just gonna click OK. If your guys' router IP address is not 192.168.1.1, uh, you can find out your router your router's IP address by going to Start, Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Wireless Network Connection, Details, and where it says IPv4 address. Uh, oh no, my bad. IPv4 default gateway. That's gonna give you your router's IP address. So you just wanna type this this um this IP address into your browser so I'm just gonna close this, close this, close this open this and yeah so now we're in the Netgear's uh, wireless settings and as you can see it's a very big difference from Linksy's settings uh, but it's kinda funny cause I was having a since uh, Netgear has all these pictures and it looks like it's easier to navigate but I was actually having a little bit of trouble finding the settings on how to block devices from a network it's kinda different so I went into their website and I found out how to navigate through it. So uh, you're going to see two tabs on the top, uh, basic and advanced. You want to go into the advanced tab. Uh, you're going to go into the advanced setup and it's going to give you a drop down menu. And you want to go into wireless settings. Then you want to scroll all the way down to you go to a wireless card access list. And you just want to uh, click set up access list. And right here, this is where you're gonna be adding your your uh, devices that you want it to be connected to your network. So uh, currently, I have my um, my computer that's connected to the computer to to my network right now. Uh, so if I click turn on access control, um, that's the only computer that's gonna be connected, or whatever whatever uh, devices in this list right here. Those are the only devices that are going to be connected to your network. Uh, all, all other devices are going to be kicked out of the network, so you won't be able to log in or they won't have internet access, nothing. So if you want to add a device, you just click Add. And right here, you're just going to select the device that you want to add and you just click Add. I only have two devices that are connected to my network right now, which is my custom my computer, which is uh, this one. And I have my iPod, which is this one, unknown. Uh, it's going to be a uh, filter by MAC address. So currently, I just want my comp I want to test test it out for you guys. So I'm just going to allow I'm just going to have my computer uh, connected to my network, and I'm going to uh, purposely block my iPod. So right now, uh, if we go back. Uh, my my computer's already uh, in the list, so I don't need to add it again. So I'm just going to exit out of this, and I'm going to click Turn Access Control on. So I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to apply it. So once I hit apply whatever's in this list those are the only uh, devices that are going to be able to connect to your internet so only my custom computer is going to be connected so I'm just going to click I pl click apply and I'm going to go into camera view now that we allowed our my custom computer to be connected to uh, to, the, to the network and we uh, intentionally block my iPod so as you can see I'm connected to my internet right here and my internet is Netgear um, 52 and it says right here the status is connected so uh, I'm just gonna prove to you guys that uh, it actually loads the page and everything as you can see and uh, we're gonna go to my iPod and it automatically disconnected from from my network which is right here in Netgear 52 and I'm just gonna uh, try to connect to it uh, so it's gonna take a little while for some reason but but that shows that um that I actually blocked it and it's gonna ask for my password again so I'm just gonna enter my password and I am uh, it's trying to um, trying to get access uh, to my router as you can see but it's gonna 
is it my iPod bounces back out of my out of the network because uh, my network won't allow my iPod to connect because we blocked it. So yeah, and in order to unblock, well, let's go back into the computer. In order to unblock um, my iPod from from my uh, from my network, so we're gonna be going back into the into our default IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. We're gonna go again to the Advanced tab. Advanced setup, wireless settings. We're gonna go down to a, a setup access list, and all we have to do is simply uncheck turn access control on, and apply it. So uh, I'm just gonna wait a moment, guys, and I'll be right back. I'm back, guys, and as you can see, uh, I'm connected back to the internet. I'm just gonna load up uh, YouTube again. And uh, and I got connected to my iPod. As you can see, I'm just gonna I don't know load up uh, I don't know any random website. Uh, just typing it. Uh, just gonna type something random. And yeah, as you can see, um, it works again. So yeah. Uh, well, thank you for watching, guys. This is uh, PSP Slim Hack showing you how to block a specific specific device on your network using a Netgear router and yeah if you guys are interested in my setup because I know a lot of you uh, geeks out there you guys are interested on what I used to like maybe game or do my do my tutorials on and everything uh, uh, please like my video and uh, I'll and please comment saying that you wanna see uh, a full view of my setup and everything right now I have um a video I'll put the link down in the description or somewhere around here you can click on on the screen it, it will lead you to my last set of video and if you watch my last set of video you're gonna notice how uh, significant changes like I replaced my mouse and keyboard uh, I got a CPU cooler and all that but anyways this video is not intended for this but anyways thanks for watching guys thank you for all the love and support guys I really really appreciate it uh, so yeah please comment thumbs up and subscribe for more um, uh, software tutorials, PC tutorials, PS4 tutorials, any tutorials that have to do with technology. Well, again, guys, thank you so much. This is PSP Slim Hacks. Bye.